So guys, this is a uh, is normal state. Warding bond on someone. She gets resistance to everything, but we take the same damage that she takes. Five and five. Imagine we are at level three. Okay. So now use warding bond on us. I mean blade ward, sorry. Lazel with a sword that is able to deal up to 23 damage. So she took 5 and 1. And we just took 3. Thank you the blade ward uh, to us. Now she's taking half damage. But we're taking a quarter of damage. So with this combo. Blade ward. Plus warding bond. We are already reducing... Every kind of damage, essentially, or at least physical damage, by a quarter. For example, instead of dealing 23, she's being able to deal at most, at most, around 15. For example, 10 to her and 5 to him. So this is a Super Saiyan. Now, i show you the Super Saiyan 2. So when, when we eat... Level 4, we can get a first fit on the cleric, and we give this one, okay? So when we have a, a heavy armor, for example, this one, is able to reduce incoming damage from non-magical attacks by 3. So Lazel, up to 23 damage, 6 and 0. Zero. Zero. For example, if you deal to her an attack that deals 12 damage, she should take 6 damage. Then this 6 physical damage is reduced by half. So from 6 it goes to 3. But since it reduces the damage, thank you to this, by 3, it will take 0 damage. This means... That to damage him, okay, someone needs to do a damage that is about uh, 14 at least. You can do this to everyone. So this is a Super Saiyan 2. And now we go even further beyond to Super Saiyan 3. Thank you to the Adamantine Splint Armor. You just go into the Green Forge through the Underdark. You go deep. You grab the Sprint Mold. Um, sprint Mold. 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 You grab a Mitral Ore. You can kill the Green Forge uh, boss using the the press. I have a video about that to show you how to kill him in just one tour without needing to even attack him. And now, from level 4, we will reduce 5 damage. This means that so if someone gives a damage of 20, our teammates will take 10. This 10 will be reduced by half because we have the uh, if you use uh, Blade Ward. And that half is 5. And 5 is still not enough to hit us because we reduce the damage by 2. Plus 3. So now the enemies. To be able to do damage to us. While we maintain uh, our teammates with this crazy buff. That makes them take half damage. The enemies have to attack our teammates. With an uh, hit. That, deals, that should deal more than 20 damage. For at least 22. Obviously we have even more uh, combos. There are more items. That very, are very useful. For example. Ring of Selving. Heals 2 extra points. Uh, a Rider Pride, as we saw, um, gives resistance. So, for example, instead of uh, using Bardi, um, instead of him using uh, Blade Ward, she can just heal everyone, keep everyone alive, and cast Blade, uh, Blade Ward to everyone and to him too, without uh, needing to, for him to, to use this as an action. With these boots, you give you give even three extra temp temporary hit points. 
So maybe if you want these items, uh, just search them on uh, Fextra Life, where you can much e more easily uh, take a look at where you find them. Boots of Iden Comfort, uh, L, uh, L Riders Pride, uh, Emulator Restoration, Ring of Selving. There is even a, um, an helmet that you can get from uh, uh, the main quest to save the refugees. Uh, I have a video where I, show, where I show how to get that. So there are a lot of combos to heal, keep everyone uh, very healthy and reduce the damage by a lot. This is a super sentry. <laughs> Watch my funny video about uh, this thing, a funny montage of Goku transforming into super sentry. Yes. You essentially go to level 3 cleric. At the start you go to level 4 cleric to get a fit. Later, when you are at least level, level 7, and you can get a, a fit from another class, you can put 3 levels of cleric on your main character, and then for level of whatever else you, you want, just give him uh, this fit. And your main character can, can do this combo, making everyone like immortal, yourself uh, included, while, uh, while being whatever you want. For example, I like him to being a bard, because when he will be level 9, so 3 level of clerics and 6 level of bards, he will also be able to cast haste. So for example, he will be able to haste Carlach or Lysel so that they will attack a lot of times every turn and destroy everything. While he stays far away and makes them uh, take less damage. While uh, Shadow Art keeps healing, keeps doing damage too because Cleric does some good damage too. If you want, since you have a lot of charisma with this build, I will show you now how to build him or to make him level up. You can make him, for example, a Sorcerer. You can even make him. Um, you can even make him um, uh, another kind of wizard because you can grab this item, warped headband of intellect. You get this by killing the main ogre that you can summon with the horn. You find them in the blighted by a villa a village here on this spot. You let the, the intelligence stay to eight. And with this, you jump up to 17. So you do, can do, be whatever you want. I decided to take the bard, the lore bard. Because, like, look, these are my st stats. With all of this constitution, we have a lot of HP. If you don't want constitution, you can even give him dexterity. And make him able to, with sleight of hand, uh, to even steal. So he can do whatever he wants. He can steal. He can, uh, he can use stealth, he has good strength, he has every kind of stat so that he's able to pass every check and look at this. This is what you can do by becoming a lore bard. Persuasion plus 9, pl performance plus 3, plus 3, plus 3, plus 4, 7, 1, 4, 1, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6. And I decided to keep them this lower because usually, usually during dialogues these are not so important. And I just gave him some athle athletics that helps showing and the preventing of being shoved. So the most important thing to keep in mind is that some cleric subclasses gives heavy armor, others don't. For example, life domain gives heavy armor, light domain doesn't. As you can see, so for example, you can choose nature, you can use uh, choose tempest. Tempest is, tempest is very good and strong at dealing damage. So for example, you can go tempest, then go into sorcerer, and you will be able to do crazy damage with lightning and thunder. Or if you want want to go in the more uh, jack of all trade uh, route, I like nature domain because it gives animal friendship and uh, speak with animals so that since level 1 you can speak with animals when you find them if you're not able to raise your strength and dexterity a lot you can give him this, this thing so that you will still be able to do a lot of damage put the proficiency where you want but maybe it's better try not to 
leave things so to behind because you will be able to rise almost all of these things okay and then here you can decide you have to put 16 onto stats later when you're higher level if you want you can change things for example so that charisma goes up to 17 to then even uh, further boost it to 18 or even 20 but for now we won't be able to get charisma up to level 20 and uh, the feat we need to take will give us one strength so it's important to have strength to level 13 or if you really don't want at least put this to an odd number because then at level 4 you will go up to, to 12 okay so for example I start like this uh, keep intelligence to 8 because uh, not too far away we'll be able to get the titan that gives that boosts up our intelligence to 17 so we can put intelligence point uh, elsewhere and then just decide for example maybe you don't really want so much constitution you want to have a crazy amount of dexterity since the start you can put your points like this level 2 we just get uh, some spells we can really choose anything just put uh, things like this uh, this spell is better because you can heal using a bonus action with sanctuary you can help someone survive when he's in trouble and bless just is one of the strongest spells in the game and here we are level 3 just get something extra from our race now we can give him uh, the warding bond and most importantly we can have the spiritual, we spiritual weapon. Remember that you can use warding bone before a fight. Then you put this away, and uh, you give him sanctuary again. So now, for example, he will be able to warding bond uh, uh, his teammates. Oh, right now, I think just one of his teammates, but he will be able to cast the spiritual weapon too to help with damage, use bless. So since level three, we are, are already able to do something. Level 4, you can, you can choose Produce Flame or uh, Sacred Flame. Whatever you want is essentially the same. We get some new spaces for, uh, for our spells. And here is finally our feat. Heavy Armor Master, Strength plus 1. So now we have 14. So every 9 is even. And essentially our build is completed. If... We go up to level 7, as I said before, you don't need to, you can, uh, you can respect and instead of taking level 4 of Cleric, we just choose our next class. For example, in my case, I will show you the Bard. The most important thing is not, not to give uh, um, cantrips and spells that you already have, of course. With the Bard, you can use this thing as a ritual, you, do, will, you won't consume level 1 spells. And everyone will be able to move 3 extra meters. So, just think about how strong is this thing. Bard will have sleep too. So now you are a crazy strong uh, support. Because you can put enemies to sleep very easily. You can push enemies away if they are coming close to you. If they are annoying you. You can make all of your teammates being able to move more. You can stop enemies for 10 turns. At level 2, the Bard does this crazy... <laughs> Uh, ability now we'll get ev even more points when you do your uh, dialogue and things uh, and, and various checks with bard level 3 this is the most important moment we stay with college of lore i don't know i still don't know how this thing works to be fair but i don't care the most important thing is that from uh, this main page here you can change skills and you can put even more points of expertise and of proficiency. We can put points on perception and persuasion, that are the two most important uh, uh, skills to have. Or if you don't want so much persuasion, we can try to boost something different, for example, insight or arcana. I don't know. Or athletics to be even stronger during fights. But I will stick with persuasion, to be fair. Let's give him a spell. I go in for invisibility because it can help in some situation. Let's keep going for uh, utility. 
and we can remove uh, a less useful spell, for example, maybe this one, to get another level 2 spell. Now, since we we are level 7, and we put 3 levels on Cleric and 4 on Bard, we can finally choose uh, this time, as a level 4 Bard, our feet, and we are more master. We can get one more country. Let's give uh, something useful. For example, the mage gem. If we made a mistake or we don't like the spell we got from the previous level, level we can still change this. Now at level eight, we are f we have five level on uh, on the bard, and it can get the cliff of warding that gives even more crazy utilities because of, of our um, uh, subclass with the bard at level six will be able to take even more spells from almost every class and will be able to get haste so now our character will be able to use uh, also haste on the stronger uh, attacker on our team to make us even more broken i show you again the, uh, the, uh, the items so that if you want you can try to take a look and uh, find uh, these items, I show you the most important, like these ones that helps you getting buffs when you heal. Some more, like this one, you can get this from Kaga. Enjoy the game with this broken build. Thank you for watching. Take a look at my other amazing guides on uh, on my channel. You can follow me on uh, Twitch and watch me playing almost every day. Have a nice day, everyone. Be nice. Bye-bye.